Baiju's 9th and 10th channel. I'm your teacher Ankita and welcome in today's session. Now these sessions that we do, right, they are really very interesting. The session actually gave us a chance to understand some very, very interesting and super amazing question. So here we are again with a very interesting question. The question, of course, as you can see from the title, is something related to our body. Now the question is, why is anemia bad for us? I'm sure in your surrounding, you must have heard people complaining about the anemia, right? And there are times we have a little bit clarity of the topic and there are times when we think, is it really very really bad for us? So in today's session, we will be tackling that question. So let's get ready everyone for an amazing session. Before we start our session, I would request you if you're new here and if you love this session and if you want to learn more further, please take a moment and subscribe to our amazing channel. So we will be hitting 100k really very soon and we need your support. So please take a moment and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon also so that you can get all the important notification. Now with that, let's get started. When we talk about our body, our body is really very interesting. And there's one thing especially in our body that actually help in connecting the things together. And of course, it's really one thing that actually carries the oxygen and important other gases. Now, of course, I'm talking about the blood. Now, of course, we know that in, in our blood, we have four important components. We have plasma, which is a non-cellular component. We have RBCs, WBCs and platelets. Each one of these have a very specific role in our body. But when we talk about the anemia, let's understand. But you will be confused. Bam, we are talking about the anemia. What are you telling about the blood? Let me tell you, there's a big connection between these two. So let's understand what is anemia. Anemia is nothing but the lack of RBCs in our body. So we know that RBCs are a very special cells that are present in the blood. And if their number is decreasing, right, we call it as the anemia. So we are now clear what anemia is. Now that we are clear with this, let's get ahead and let's understand further more. We know that, that RBCs are really very important. And they are the one that carries us, right? They are the one that carries the oxygen and gives us the oxygen to the different cells and to the different tissues. So RBCs have a very special protein which is called as a hemoglobin. And this protein actually carries the oxygen, right? So let's make a connection. So RBCs, in blood we have RBCs and RBCs carries the oxygen. And RBCs have a hemoglobin, which is a protein. And of course, it's a pigment that gives a red color to the blood. So this particular protein, which is a hemoglobin, carries the oxygen. Now, when we take a close up look over here, we know that this hemoglobin carries the oxygen to different parts of the body. Be it the heart, right, the lungs, brain, kidneys, and everywhere in our body. Now, when we take a closer look at this hemoglobin, there is a very interesting point that actually tell. Iron, iron, yes. So in the hemoglobin, right, what we have? We have the iron, right? So the hemoglobin, of course, along with the proteins, have iron into it. And because of this iron, they are capable of doing so much amazing work. So we can say that hemoglobin have iron, right? And if this iron is not present in the body, what will happen? Just imagine, we need iron, right? We need iron because hemoglobin has it. If hemoglobin will not have the iron, what will happen? Interesting, right? I'm sure you're coming over there. Yes, the amount of hemoglobin that we have, of course, will gradually be going ahead, right? A little bit low. And eventually, of course, we'll have less number of RBCs in the body. So there's a connection over there. Now, when we talk about the iron, but our body cannot make iron, right? We know that iron is present, but our body in, in, uh, cannot make the iron by itself. We usually get the iron from the different resources of food we have. Like spinach, right? The red meat, fish and the broccoli. Now, apart from these, there are other important sources of the iron. So we get the iron by eating these food items. If we consume them, definitely what are we doing? We are adding the iron in our body. That iron will actually be going and of course, 
will help in the formation of the hemoglobin. The hemoglobin has iron which plays a very important role in carrying the oxygen. So all in all, they all are interconnected. Just in case, if we don't have enough iron in our body, of course we will not have enough hemoglobin, right? Eventually that will be leading to less number of RBCs, which of course means that the individual will not be able to get the enough oxygen. Interesting, right? Hmm, kind of a circle back, right? I hope that you got that information. Now, you can take a movement and you can write in the comment section below the question, right? Over here, you can write the answer for this particular question. The question is, do you know that women have usually lesser RBCs than men? And you can write the answer for this particular question in the comment section below. I will be waiting for your answers. So take a moment and write the answer. With that, I'll say we are done with our today's session. I hope that now you're clear that why anemia is bad for us. If you take this moment out, please hit the like button for the video, subscribe to the channel and for more amazing information and to stay connected with us, do join us on the telegram. The link of the group is in the description below. Join the group. We have so much more over there. And let me talk to you about a very important examination that will be happening in the month of November that gives us a chance and gives us a clarity to actually pick the streams that we want to have in the future, right? So the ANTHE examination is the Akash National Talent Hunt examination for, for the class 7th until 12th. It will give you a chance for the 100% scholarship and you can uh, you can actually go to NASA. Interesting, right? So what are you waiting for? Register for the examination today. The link is in the again description below and the examination are in the month of November and the registration is absolutely free. So do that. And as we always say, we have got you covered. And don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to this amazing channel of yours. We'll be meeting in the next week. Till that time, take care of yourself and keep on learning with Baijus.